Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. You know, Richard Weikert came out with a book on Darwin and Hitler. I forget if that was the name of it. It was something along those lines that showed like there was a joining of a worldview of Hitler with uh, Darwin's theory of evolution, Darwinian evolution. And so now he's come and done a little more complete study about Hitler's religion, the twisted beliefs that drove the Third Reich. And of course, I don't think maybe there's some people out there uh, that defend National Socialism and Hitler. I, very few. I've actually ran across a couple of websites that seem to do that, and it's like, oh my. But, uh, you know, I'm against totalitarianism from every direction. I just want the best for everybody. So Hitler's religion, and so it's recommended by Dr. Eric Kurlander, professor of modern European history, Stetson University, author of Living with Hitler and Forthcoming Nazi Monsters, A Supernatural History of the Third Reich. Now, that's a type book I would like to be interested in because he was into a lot of the occult, like the Thule Society, ancient um, Aryan religions, and, uh, you know, wanting to get the uh, altar of Zeus from Pergamos, all kinds of stuff. Also, it's recommended by Irving Hexham, professor of religious studies, University of Calgary, and author of Understanding World Religions. And uh, uh, actually, Ravi Zacharias, he of defamed memory. <laughs> um, I've got a little note to myself about Christian anti-Semitism, Martin Luther's anti-Semitism. I got that book. You know, it's the type of thing you're like, yeah, I don't want to do a review on social media. People may take it wrong. But it is pretty amazing how uh, anti-Semitism has been in so-called Christianity for a long time. And not everything that says it's Christian, as a matter of fact, most that says it's Christian is not. Like, was Hitler a Christian? He, he usually only used things like the Iron Cross and stuff like that to rally this deep morality in Germany, you know, to bring people together. But yeah, I don't think he was a Christian in any way, shape, or form. I'm glad he goes into Schopenhauer, believed in biological evolution, saw nature as a field of struggle, and considered humans as an integral part of nature. Perhaps it's not remarkable that some of his ideas presage later concepts. Uh, prominent among social Darwinist thinkers, because I've heard Schopenhauer was a big influence on Hitler. So, you know, I read about Lenin, Stalin, you know, monsters of history, because I want to make sure uh, none of them ever come back <laughs> the best we can. Let's pray. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, spiritual warfare. So Richard Weichart is professor of modern European history at Cal State University Stanislaus. He has published five previous books, including The Death of Humanity and the Case for Life, From Darwin to Hitler. Yeah, Evolutionary Ethics, Eugenics, and Racism in Germany, Hitler's Ethic, The Nazi Pursuit of Evolutionary Progress, um, he's published scholarly articles and journals such as the German Studies Review and the Journal of the History of Ideas. He's appeared in several documentaries. His work has been featured and discussed in the Washington Post, Philadelphia Inquirer, National Review, Christianity Today, World Magazine, and various radio shows and other venues. And this is published by Regenry, which I think is a conservative publishing house. It has a lot of notes in the back. And so with that, it's like 380 pages. I'm trying to see how many pages it is without the notes. Lots of notes, like 100 plus pages of notes, real close to 100 pages. Uh, note on sources, 288. And so with the conclusion, it's 280 pages long. I'll let you see, like, uh, it's big print, got plenty of room in the margins. You can tell I do Bible reviews a lot. But, you know, I write and underline in my books, too. A lot of people do that on index cards. Some people do it in journals. I've got a friend, Phil Harrelson. He's the journal meister. Of course, my mentor and pastor, Paul Mooney, is a huge journal person. I'm really not. I should be. It's fantastic. 
I'm just getting into writing some hopefully coming out with a few bo books I'll be uh, showing you good folks so Hitler's religion you know this is something that interests me I don't know if it interests you or not it might but just letting you know that it's out there so and kind of the the role that evolution may have played in the rise of Hitler that's very important so God bless we love you talk with you later in Jesus name <laughs>